to work. But the thing that really makes it a great place to work is not the physical setting. Okay? It's not that we have great buildings and it's just close to home and that there's mountains around us. It's that I get to work with good people and with great people. Jeff talked for a moment about these, about these founders. And I want you to know um, that these are good men. And they are men that are committed to this company. And they're men that are committed to you and to, to you transforming your world. And what they want to do is they are intent. I'm going to take this down because it's just echoing on me. That's OK. They, they are intent on making your world better. And it's fun to work with good people who are, whose desire is to do the right things for the right reasons at the end of the day. And so when I go to bed at night, I know I'm working with good guys. And I want you to know that that's the type of people that you have um, leading, this, leading this company. And they're fun guys as well. It, it, it's good to be able to laugh and to, and to you know, I mean, they are just your everyday type of, a, of, of guys as well as, as well as good businessmen. When John Wadsworth, our president of the company, took over the helm about two years ago, uh, he came back in and he said, you know what, we're going to change the course of our business a little bit. We're going to narrow our focus. And he said to themselves, what we're going to do is we are going to focus on our core products and we're going to focus on our market of network marketing. And he says, because I think there's tremendous opportunity. And just like any good team is, you know, what they do at the beginning of the year, they go back and they focus on the blocking and tackling. They focus on the basics of the business in order to do, to do better. And we felt like we had gotten a little bit away from some of the, the blocking and tackling of our business. So as John came in and, and, and took over the company, he said, we're going to focus on our product. We need to tell our story better. We need to tell the story behind our science a lot better. We need to focus on network marketing, which means we need to focus on our IPCs, and we need to make our compensation plan more rewarding. We need to do a better job with our recognition. We need to do a better job with our trips. We need to make the overall experience of being part of the, of the TNI family a better experience. And that's what he meant when he said, let's focus on network marketing. And obviously, it's not a switch that you can flip overnight, but it's something that uh, is a process, is a journey, and it's continual improvement in doing that. But this was the focus. And so as we made decisions, strategic decisions in our company to say, what are we going to do? How are we going to do it? We put everything against these two pieces. Is it going to strengthen our core product? Is it going to be about network marketing? Well, that's what we tried to do. And I believe that we were successful in 2009. Here's what happened. In 2009, the company grew globally by 9%. Now, you, when you look at that, you go 9%. Well, that's a, that's, a, that's a fair number. But when you compare that to what was happening in the world at this time, when you look at the global economies, the world economies that was going backwards, okay, while others were going backwards, while most companies were going backwards, TNI grew globally by 9%. While I was in China, I was reading a, a paper, and they made the comment that China had led the world economies by growing by 8.7%. And it made the comment how the rest of the world wishes that they could have had that type of growth. And it struck me somewhat, odd, not odd, but it was, it was funny just to look at this and say, that's what we grew. And I believe that most companies out there are looking at our numbers and saying, this is a company that's doing something right, that in spite of the economy has continued to grow. So that is a result of what you have done. And so I, I, I take my hat off to you and congratulate, but I congratulate you. But I want you to know that we are growing and we're committed to continue to grow um, this company. That talked about all of our products. If you look just at our core product, at our basically at our Tahitianoni juice or what we're now calling our bioactive beverage, we grew by 13% in the growth of our core of our core products. So the the mission of focusing on our core product of uh, of growing that market is also, uh, is, is also, I guess that's the proof in the pudding, um, you could say. So, you know what, we're absolutely very, very proud of that. And it's a, it's a reflection that the strategy that we put in place is absolutely working. But guess what? 2009 was about three months ago, and we're now well into 2010, so that's old news. And we're now in the middle of this new year, and we're focusing on that. Um, I was going to share this, forgot to share this. As you know, we're a worldwide company. We do business in, 
something like 60 or 70 countries, and I say 60 or 70 because some countries we just ship product into, we don't actually have a physical presence, but uh, we, I think we have offices in 30, 30, I can't remember how many countries it is, 30 or 37 countries, something like that. We just announced the, the opening of Kazakhstan, uh, which is over, as you can see, part of Russia next to China. And they're, we're doing that grand opening here in just a couple of, in a couple of weeks. And, and that's an exciting piece. Uh, because there are just people everywhere. I know we have folks here that are from Russia, from that part of the world, that have connections in that part of the world. And uh, we have a seamless compensation plan that lets people take advantage of our compensation plan worldwide. So that's, that's another part of our growth. But I want you to know that my key focus, I'm over global sales. Jeff gave me a very nice title. I mean, there was lots there. Uh, but if I were to condense it down, my title is I'm the Vice President of Global Sales. I believe where the greatest opportunity for us is right here in the United States, in our own backyard. I believe there's tremendous untapped potential that we need to take advantage of. And what we are focusing on, what I am giving my primary focus to, is to the U.S. marketplace and making this marketplace hum and make it be very, very rewarding. So, what about 2010? Our vision, everyone, everywhere, every day. That's where we're going. How are we going to do it? We are going to do it just like we got our 9% growth. We are not going to change, we're not going to alter, but we are going to bolster it by focusing and creating more trust, reward, science, innovation, leadership, differentiation, and boldness to our story. Jeff talked a little bit earlier about some of the words that I used about, you know, the counterfeits and, you know, all of those kinds of things. And, you know, I don't spend a lot of time looking over my shoulder at the competition. I just don't. Um, we have enough opportunity just looking at the challenges we have as a company to make ourselves better. And I don't, I'm not going to spend any time, not too much time talking about those guys. We'll have a little bit of fun you're going to see today with some of the competition and some of the things that we are and, we're, and, and, and they're not. But uh, we believe that we, the, the marketplace that we have, the marketplace that we have developed over time, demands that we become bolder. It demands that we become more confident. It demands that we create more trust with our people and people respect us more. We know that we need to provide more training and more opportunity for great leadership because we lead this marketplace. We do. We lead this industry and we need to step up and we need to start to show that. And what we did at our ILC was a leap, if you will, a big movement in the right direction to make people sit up and listen to what we were doing. 